Hello everyone and welcome to my channel and for today's custom showcase I will be showing you how to make a custom Michael Keaton Tim Burton era Batman the um, what you will need to make this custom is uh, probably the most important part is the head and the cowl right um, so this is from the uh, SH Figure Arts that came out, uh, I believe, last year, 2020, early 2020. Sorry about the plane. Uh, so this is the SH Figure Arts. The SH Figure Arts comes with two uh, sets of uh, cowls. One with uh, the eyes looking straight on and a normal face uh, or a mouth. And the second head uh, that comes with the eyes looking to the side with a slight uh, smile or a smirk. So the idea for this custom first came about after watching this uh, this um, this figure, right? Um, originally, I had seen this uh, at um, at stores at Targets, um, but I didn't really uh, think much of it because of the uh, head sculpt that came with it originally. Uh, which I have here and I'll show in just a second the um, the head it was just a little too big in my opinion so it wasn't um, really something that uh, caught my attention uh, so but I later bought the figure uh, almost at half price uh, on Amazon I bought this and the other a couple of figures that came with the wave right so there was the Batman the Joker and the Poison Ivy I got uh, the Batman and the um, the joker so it was pra practically two for one uh, but the intent was to modify this to put on a different head sculpt uh, on it i know there are uh, sellers on ebay and on instagram who sell custom uh, you know molds um, so uh, custom head sculpts but um, the uh, the guy that I found on uh, on Instagram no longer had any available. Uh, then uh, pretty soon after I, the SH Figure Arts, uh, I got it at a good price, so I bought it. And obviously, since it comes with two head sculpts, right, two cows, I decided, well, I'll um, I'll use that to make this custom. So, um, the, the hardest part, uh, as you can see, I also modified the, the grappling gun. The, uh, the handle was originally down here by the cartridge. I just moved it back so it's more accurate to the, to the actual moving. So, the thing that you need to uh, uh, worry about most about this figure is trying to remove the cowl, the cowl piece, right, uh, from this figure. This um, was attached uh, from this piece right here. Let me remove the, the, um, the cape here. So once you remove the cowl, you can see there's like this piece of plastic, which is like a stump on um, right on the figure. This is what was attached on the um, underneath here on the cowl, and then the ball peg with the um, with the with the hinge was then attached to the to the cowl piece. So uh, removing the uh, cowl itself for me at least uh, proved difficult since um, the glue on this area was uh, really hard to, to dissolve. I tried the boiling water method. I tried the the hair dryer slash um, heat gun method, and nothing would work. So ultimately what I had to do was uh, cut it off. So what I did was I uh, heat up the, the plastic and then with a, um, an X-Acto knife, I slowly cut through and made this seam. I was able to split it and then finally remove the, the cowl piece. You can see that it's still a little rough here on this end because of how uh, 
the plastic, the, um, the glue would just not dissolve here. So I had to jab things in there and be able to remove the um, the cow piece, then the cow slash neck piece. <laughs> Once I removed the cow, I had to uh, then somehow figure out a way to attach the ball peg to the um, what was left of the neck piece on the on the figure, right? This stump, and um, I had to first remove the uh, ball peg and the hinge from the neck piece so I uh, cut it down on the side and once I plied it open I was able to slide it out once I slid it out I had to reshape the um, the plastic around this area into a, a, like a C shape or like a C clip shape and then I had to reshape the the stump to accommodate the clip, right? Um, I decided to go at an angle instead of a straight up, because you know usually that's how you know Batman is brooding and all of that. So it, um, it always looks cooler when the head is leaning forward. So it's up to you really how you want to prefer how you if you're gonna do this custom yourself how you wanna wanna do it. But slightly leaning forward is not bad as you can see. The, uh, the, SH, the SH Figure Arts piece itself um, is not attached to a, by a ball joint. Um, it has like a metal rod that goes through here in this shape. Since, this, uh, since the, the head piece on this doesn't rotate or anything, it's just a solid you know, piece. Uh, so, but the ball peg on the, um, on the Mattel figure is the perfect size it, it goes on tight uh, snugly it's not too tight or anything it's not gonna ruin anything and you know if you want a head movement it, it is gonna slide out so just be warned about that but you can get some movement but now you're gonna notice this thing right here so in order to make the bat symbol Right, so I didn't want to uh, glue it to the uh, SH Figure Arts cowl piece because I want the I wanted to still be uh, you know accessible to both figures since the um, the um, this is attached on a clip to the chest, right? Um, I didn't want to glue this permanently to the to this uh, cowl piece. So what you can do is after I cut out the the emblem from the figure on the cowl right here as you can see I used uh, parts from a uh, model kit I just grabbed a sprue and reshaped it into a, um, a peg so, and then I glued it to the back end of the um, of the plastic here on the emblem and then I, I shaped it into a point so I was able to thread it through and then uh, flatten it out so that it will be able to um, not pop out so easily, right? So it's holding it in place. And it's held on pretty firmly, right? You, you don't mess with it too much. It's not gonna slide around. So it holds, on, it, it holds its place. And, and yeah, that's about it. You just glue it, reshape, and attach. Now you can uh, do the what the SH Figure Arts does, since there's a, a you know since there's a, it's not resting flush with the chest, you can you know drill a hole big enough to accommodate the this little plug thing that's sticking out. So that's up to you. I haven't done it yet. I may do it. Um, maybe later when I redo the cape. Uh, speaking of which, this cape is just uh, made from um, a polo shirt that I had that I no longer used. Um, uh, it's made from a, a dry fit material from Nike. It's a little stretchy, it's a little transparent as well. Uh, but this is one of the first capes that I made. Um, I think I've 
gotten better at making capes. Uh, so I just took the um, the cape from the SH figures figure, used it as a template, and made it slightly longer because the figure is uh, taller. And um, you know, just um, fit it on there. Uh, like I said, right now it's only you know it's being held on with um, duct tape, and but it's hidden well by the cowl. You know, if you if you move it right, you know, you can't see it. And there it is. It's not too complicated. Uh, the complicated part is you know removing that the cowl and removing the. Um, the ball joint and refitting it directly to the body but uh, this can work as either your you know 89 batman or batman returns batman since the body isn't really specific to either one it was made to resemble the um the 89 batman it was you know it was based on the original toy biz uh figure that came out to promote the movie this is the kenner uh, from Batman Returns, so it's basically almost the same figure, but blown up, and um, this is the original head sculpt, I've already done a lot of reshaping to it since uh, I tried to fix it maybe, uh, but um, I wasn't getting the results that I uh, I wanted, that's when I decided to do the um, the customizing by adding the, um, the SH figure arts head to it. So, but yeah, because a few things aren't as accurate to either version of the movie. So this works as a pretty generic version of either one. And you can either, you know, work it with whatever version you want. You know, you can use this uh, logo on this call piece or vice versa. Um, you know, you can either have your Batman Returns because this has the, the regular Batman logo or, you know, the original Batman 89 because it has the tri-point on the bat tail and yeah you know do with it you know however you want uh, and a quick tip for those that have the SH figure arts if um, one of the complaints was about the cape since the material is pretty thick that the cape would splay out um, one solution that I found is uh, just uh, get a hair clip you know a bobby pin um, ask your mom ask your sister or just go to a dollar store and pick up a you know a little small packet uh, you know make sure it's black and thread it through and that's it it's gonna hold the cap the, uh, the cape in place so yeah that's um that's about it so yeah this is the uh custom uh keaton batman and um, I hope you liked it. Um, give me a, a thumbs up if you liked the video. Thumbs down if you didn't. Doesn't matter. Um, like, subscribe. You know all that deal. And uh, I'll see you in uh, future videos. Thank you.